The coolest part now is, you know, I'm at the end of his journey and I get to see where Isaiah, you know, rests in peace and I get to go visit his grave and I'm, I'm pretty stoked about that. Just to like, you know, have a, a cool ending to such a, an amazing journey that I've been on, you know, finding out about his life. Oh my God, this is like my whole family. Prentice Rose, Prentice Rose. Oh my goodness, Leslie Rose. That's my two times great grandfather. I did not expect to find you here. This is like a rose graver, Mary Rose, Melissa Rose. Oh my goodness. Isaiah R. Rose. I'm your three times great granddaughter. What's up? I brought you these. Oh my gosh. I just took a long journey, man. You have had a well-lived life. Thank you so much for being just such a, a hero. You know, you would think that coming to pay respects would be a sad part of this journey, but oddly enough, it's been just a celebration for me. All right, love ya. My mother and I, you know, I started this journey off, we're not really connected to our families. I mean, her maiden name is Rose. So to walk into the cemetery and see just what a life and legacy that name is, it's pretty amazing. This whole thing has made me just kind of feel like way more connected than I thought I was gonna be. I think everybody should do this because it has just lit a fire in me and I'm very excited. And it's just cool to know your story, you know, not your own, but your family's. Kelly's journey was started by her mother's research. So she's heading back to Nashville to tell her what she's discovered. I can't wait to show her the strength and perseverance that exist in our family line. Hi, hey, sweetheart. Hi. And I'm hoping that my discoveries about Isaiah will give her the sense of family connection that she's been looking for. At the beginning of this, I was like, you know what? My mother's so strong, and I'm a pretty strong individual. There must have been some people in our past that were just as strong. And what's funny is to find out that, you know, your two times great, my three times great grandfather, Isaiah Rose, is really the pillar of strength of our family. He signs up to be in the Civil War. He got taken prisoner. Have you ever heard of Andersonville Prison? Yes. You have? Yes. That was a horrible place. It is mind-blowing when you go there. Entrance. You went there? Yeah. One in three soldiers that went into Andersonville died. I mean, you have to really want to live to get through something like that. That yeah. is amazing. Well, I think my mother and I were both very honest with the fact that we don't feel really connected at all with our families. And I think it was cool to be able to show her a story of how, you know what, we come from a long line of strugglers, but at the end of the day, we survive. And then he ends up running for Senate. I know, just amazing this guy that is always kind of up against the odds, you know, and just, and doesn't get knocked down. But you see, that's that's why I wanted to look. I wanted to know about our ancestors. Yeah. I wanted to know if we do we have any of those traits. Yeah, and we do. <laughs> and that's what I find amazing that like you, we didn't know that that we came from that. You know, it's in our blood. It's innate that you need family. Although I've tried a couple times, you know, previously in my life to mend some fences either with my father or other people in my family, like. I think it's just, time. you know what, maybe it's that thing where it's like Isaiah, you just don't give up. You just keep trying and you keep trying. I think that that's a very powerful thing. I'm glad you got to do this. This was the coolest thing I've by far done in my life, like finding out, like, I mean, I think it's the coolest thing anybody could find out, finding out where you come from. And I can't wait to figure out what else we can find out. I know. Yeah. You want to hug it out? Yes. Bring it in. Team hug. <laughs> Thank you, baby. All right.